Hello, today we are reading Fight the Night by Tama Di Paola. It was after supper and Ronald and his friends were having a good time playing tag with Ronald's cat, Walter. Then they played hide and seek. Ronald was just about to come in free when Mama called. Time to go to bed, Ronald. Tell your friends good night. I don't want to go to bed yet, said Ronald. We want to play some more. But it's time for all of you to be in bed, said Mama. And besides, tomorrow is another day. Maybe there will be a surprise for you. Even if I have to go to bed, I won't sleep, said Ronald. I will stay up all night. All right, said Mama. But when the night comes, it will make you fall asleep. The night is not my friend. It always comes at the wrong time. I will fight the night, said Ronald. And he got his flashlight. He put on his helmet and cape and pulled the covers over his head, waiting for the night to come. It was dark under the covers, so Ronald turned on his flashlight. The bottom of his bed looked very far away. I will crawl to the bottom of my bed and wait for the night. There, he said. When he finally got there, he squeezed way well down, and before he knew it, he was on the other side, and it was very dark. As Ronald started to walk, he saw two eyes looking at him. He shined his flashlight and there was Walter. What are you doing here, Ronald? asked the cat. Where am I? said Ronald. You are in the night time, answered Walter. Good, said Ronald. I'm going to fight the night. You are silly, said the cat. You'd better go home. I will not take care of you. And he ran silently and swiftly away. Ronald heard a noise above him and he followed the beam of his flashlight. There was an old owl. Why aren't you asleep, said the owl. I'm going to fight the night, said Ronald. Where is he? You'll find out soon enough, and then you'll be sorry, said the owl as he flew off. After the darkness, Ronald heard a voice. Go to sleep before it's too late. No, I'm going to fight the night, answered Ronald. Who are you? The voice whispered, I'm the night. Let's fight, said Ronald. He began to swing his flashlight around. You'll never catch me, said the knight. Ronald heard a squeaky noise, 
I'll get you, knight, said Ronald, and he swung his flashlight. You missed, said the knight. Ronald ran after the voice. Something tripped him. He swung his flashlight. That's not me. You cannot catch me. I am the knight. The voice came from everywhere all around. Ronald swung his flashlight left, right and left, but he found nothing. Aren't you getting tired, Ronald, said the knight. No, said Ronald, but he was tired. His arms and legs ached. I must keep on fighting the knight, Ronald said to himself, and he swung his flashlight following the voice and fighting the knight. At last, a rosy light started to shine at the bottom of the sky, and the night was suddenly gone. Ronald listened hard, but no voice, no night. I won, I won, said Ronald. I chased the night away, and he turned off his flashlight. He crawled back through the end of his bed and crawled until he got to the top of his covers. It was morning. Ronald took off his helmet and cape and put away his flashlight. Ronald, breakfast is ready, called Mama from the kitchen. But Ronald didn't hear her. All he heard was a nut's voice coming from under the covers at the bottom of the bed. Ha ha ha, whispered the nut. I won, I won. And Ronald slept all day. The end. Wasn't that a good story? Until next time, but you don't have to wait for me. Go to your local library and get a good book. See ya!